Good morning guys, so I have something that I want to talk to you about again today. Um, something that I see happen with a lot of my clients, a lot of my friends. Um, I saw happen with myself um, many times when trying to, to reach for goals. Not just with health, but with a lot of different things. Today we're going to probably use a lot of examples dealing with health because um, I have a lot of clients that come to me with health goals and they want me to coach them through getting there. Um, and so here's what I see happen a lot of times. People use terms such as derailed or messed up or fell off the wagon or cheated or had a cheat day or, you know, all of these different terms, um, stepped off the path, you know, and guys, there are, there are several things that this way of thinking does not create the energy or the truth that you need to keep moving forward. So there are several, I don't want to say things wrong, but things that you may not notice about when you, when you say things like this, that give like a, a subconscious message to yourself that you may not even realize you're giving yourself. So number one, to say any of those terms is to say that when you began your, your journey towards your goal, that you knew what the path was supposed to look like. More than likely what happened is you compared, you, you saw someone else do something and you wanted to do the same thing and you saw how their journey went there. And so you automatically assumed when you started your journey, that's what mine's going to look like. And if it doesn't look like that, then that means I've gone off the path somewhere or I've made a wrong turn, something like this, fallen off the wagon, whatever you want to call it. So there's the first truth that you are telling yourself that may not be serving you. Guys, I've said so many times before, trust the process, trust your journey. Everyone's journey is going to look different everyone's is. So just because someone else did something that you want to do, it does, it's not to say that you can't do it, but you getting there is going to look different from them because you are starting off in a different place than they are. Because if you were in the same place as them, you would be them. And then if we were all the same person, life would be very boring. So we're all different. So when we start on, I, I take that back. We're all different as far as where we are in our life when we reach for a goal, who we are as, as a person, a human being is the same, but our starting point towards going towards a goal is always going to be different because we're all starting at different points in life, different points in our journey, different spots along the path. So think of it this way, instead of thinking I've fallen off the wagon or I took a wrong turn or something, what if you knew that you were on the exact right path to your goal and it's a straight line? It's a perfectly straight line. You are on that straight line towards your goal. And when you quote unquote mess up or fall off the wagon or make a wrong turn, none of that actually happened. What actually happened is that on your straight path journey, there was this lesson to be learned along the way for you to realize, okay, this is a method that doesn't work to get me to where I want to go. This is a method that isn't effective. So I can figure out another way to keep going forward. But that doesn't mean you made a wrong turn. That means that, that that lesson was part of your path, your straight line towards your goal. You didn't make a wrong turn. You didn't turn down a different path. You're still on the exact same path you started on, heading straight towards your goal. That lesson was just a dot along the way on the path. And this creates such a different energy than if you say, oh, I fell off the wagon or I took a wrong turn, then there's this whole illusion that you have to somehow get back on the wagon or you have to turn around and go back to your path or you have to start over again. None of that's true, guys. None of it's true. You are exactly where you're supposed to be on your journey, further along than where you started. And this lesson you are in right now was part of the plan. It was part of your life curriculum for you to learn this lesson on the way to your goal. You didn't mess up. There's nothing wrong with where you are right now. This was a lesson to be learned. It is a chapter in the textbook of your life. You can imagine your life is literally like a class you are taking. And when you come across these lessons, when you discover something, a method that doesn't work, this is like a test. It's like a, a chapter in the textbook you finished, and now you have to fill out the quiz. And in order to fill out the quiz, you have to know what information is valid and is not, what to keep, what not to keep, and put the right answers down on the test. Okay? So when you when you come across these 
these times where say it's a weight loss journey and you have a day where you eat a piece of chocolate cake and that's not on your eating protocol and then the next morning you wake up and you're just beating yourself up about it and your your stomach hurts your body and you're like looking in the mirror and poking yourself and being like oh i got so fat and oh i gotta start all over again i just screwed everything up okay let's reframe reframe yesterday you had a piece of cake today you realize that piece of cake was not worth the consequence, and then we learn. Okay, so next time I am faced with a piece of cake, I know this is what it's going to feel like if I eat this piece of cake, and I don't necessarily like this. So next time there, there isn't this question mark of, is it going to be worth it to have this piece of cake? So instead of ignoring the lesson and slipping into victim mode of, oh, poor me, I fell off the wagon, this happened to me, da 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 I gotta have to start all over again now. No! No, 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 you learned a valuable lesson. You now know that this piece of cake is not worth it. And you can make a note of it. You can write it down. I would suggest writing it down because next time you come across the same situation, your brain's going to be like, oh, but this time it'll be different. No, write it down. Write down exactly what you're feeling, what you're thinking. And then the next time the same scenario comes around, you know, nope, I recognize this. I see what's happening here. I don't have to have this piece of cake. And I don't, this little voice in the back of my head being like, oh, what if, what if, what if, I understand where that's coming from, but I know now what will happen if I have this piece of cake. And I know that that voice is coming from a space of fear. It's afraid to keep walking forward because all of this forward here is unknown. What's back there is known. That's comfortable. Even though it's uncomfortable, it's familiar discomfort. So it's easy to turn around and go back. That's why that voice is trying to derail, not derail you. That's why that voice is trying to get you to try this thing that you know is not going to work so that then you can beat yourself up and then derail yourself and then have to start over again and then keep doing that until you give up. That's what this, this whole entire process going on in your head. Your brain is trying to get you to give up because it's afraid of stepping into the unfamiliar. That's all that's happening here, guys. And you're learning lessons along the way. But guys, I promise you, these lessons are not you taking a wrong turn. They're not you stepping off of the path because your path is different than any other path you've seen. So you have no idea. Stop telling yourself that you know what your path is supposed to look like and stop believing that lie that it's going to look like what someone else's look like and that therefore, if it doesn't look like that, you screwed up somehow. No, not true. Let go of that. You are in your life curriculum. You are studying your degree in life, not theirs. And this is part of your journey, part of your straight line to your goal, is that you were supposed to come across this lesson and learn what you need to learn from it. All right? So I hope this makes a little bit of sense. And I hope that if you try this, you can feel that energy shift and that the difference between those thinkings, the, the difference between, oh, I messed up, oh, I got derailed, oh, I fell off the wagon, or oh, I made a wrong turn, now I have to start over, or now I have to go back, versus thinking, okay... This was a lesson. This was a dot on my straight line to my goal. I've learned my lesson here. Now I get to keep moving forward. And I can I can use this lesson later on. That's why I probably had to learn it is because something's going to come up later and I'm going to get tested again. So I need to remember this. This is this is all just part of the class. And your exam is at the end. This is all part of the class, all part of the test. You are not derailed. You just had to go through this lesson. This lesson was important. And guys, hey, you know what? Maybe you learning this lesson is because someone's going to try this after you and they're going to come across a struggle very similar to this and you can be like, hey, I've been there before. I know what this feels like. Let me give you this little tip here. This is what I tried. This is what worked for me. And it may not be exactly what works for them, but it could point them in the direction of what will work for them so that then they can go about their life curriculum and learn their lesson and keep going as well. So I hope this helps you guys. Hope it offers some clarity. Stop telling yourself that you messed up, that you derailed, that you went off the path, that you made the wrong turn, that you fell off the wagon, any of that. Let go of that thinking. This is all part of your journey. It's supposed to be this way. Do you know how I know? Because it is this way. So learn your lessons and keep moving forward. Stop using current information to beat your past self up. It never works. All right. You guys have a great Tuesday, um, and I will talk to you all soon. Leave me your comments, questions, likes, loves below. Share this video and get the message out there. Um, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Enjoy your Tuesday. Talk to you soon. Ciao.